when Netflix gives you a recommendation, do you take it? Do you chance a Netflix movie? This one I did. Was it worth the big four? Chase Miyake here with the Blue Futon reviewing the big four. So what is the big four about? It is an Indonesian hitman movie where it starts off with a pretty badass battle sequence. We're like, oh shit, this is the type of movie that feels kind of raidish and I'm enjoying what it is, but it's with guns and way more humor. So there we go. Hitman, they completed a job. However, their boss dies. Who is it? They're on the run now for like four-ish plus years and now they are caught by the daughter and more shenanigans ensues in Indonesia. So, did I like this film? I thought it was a pretty good movie, but oh my gosh, it was way too long, and dialogue that did not need to be in this movie. When the action was on screen, I enjoyed myself with the goofiness. It was literally Raid meets the Three Stooges. Yeah, I'm going to go with that way. The Raid, Three Stooges, had a baby, and the big four came out. So let's talk about the pauses, the action sequences. This has guns, gore, gore, and it's absolutely a blast. When the sniper rifles were hitting people, you felt it. When battle sequences were being fought, you felt it. And I enjoyed that part. When movies do that with good cinematography and good action coordination, movies really do succeed in that realm. Yes, there are some editing cuts in this one where you're just like, eh, but that one play out a little bit longer. But then there's other ones where you're like, yeah, keep that camera moving with those one cuts or no cuts because I really enjoy that style of action. Like, I truly, truly do. And so this is just a fun, just action comedy movie that works on a lot of levels. But then when you talk about the negatives of the film, it is an hour and, or two hours and 21 minutes. Way, 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 way too long. Because there are some scenes in the second act when you're revisiting these people of where they're at in the different locations. You're like, let's speed this up. Come on, let's go. I understand that we need to reintroduce these characters because they haven't seen each other in, you know, a couple of years. But I was just like, we need to move on. And some humor just doesn't work. Like, there's this mermaid scene, and there's other scenes in this movie where it's like, oh, that, that joke didn't land. It's not like they're offensive jokes. Like, oh, I'm canceling you for it. It's like, nah, I just didn't find that shit funny whatsoever. And like I said, it drags. It's overlong. And I think that's the biggest fault of this movie. It's like, take 20 minutes off this movie. Make the script a little bit more tighter, make the action sequences a little more neat, little more neat, and you would have a freaking fantastic raid John Wick kind of spin off. But you wanted to add the Three Stooges humor in there. I completely understand you want to do something a little bit different. It works on mo- most occasions. I would say it works. But other times you're like, okay, let's let's kind of just just stop that, please stop that over there. It doesn't make any sense. But overall, it's gonna be a quick review. The Big Four. If you find on Netflix, and if you want to watch kind of a raid light mixed with some stooges, I think you would enjoy yourself. But however, be forewarned, it starts strong, act two drags, act three goes balls to the wall completely. Kind of like a lot of action movies. You got to start up strong, and you got to do some, you know, complex relationships in the middle. And at the very end, you get that battle sequence. So the big four will receive a three and a half out of five of futons, which was at 70%. We'll see the critics new scores gave this one. So have critics a 91%. I'm shocked with 11 of them. Audience score an 82%. Not bad with over 50. No critic consensus. So yeah, like I said, if you like fun action movies, and here's the other thing when I think about it now. I prefer action movies probably overseas because they are not scared to like use blanks or actually use rounds in a gun. Like if you use blanks, so like when you have an AR, you have the slot. And so when the bullet goes, the cartridge comes out. It's like, ding. Goes two different ways. In now movies, they do the CGI where it's like, I'm shooting this Uzi. But you're like, where the fuck are the rounds? Where, it's, it, what, what, the gun just eats up. Like the Uzi's like, ah, I can't the round so it doesn't go out in the world. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, 70, 82, 91. Chase out with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Bhutan, Tobia, Boof, Tony, say, watch out. A freaking fantastic day. Yeah. I don't know, is the raid Indonesian? Figure that out. It's like a Jeopardy question. And where is the raid 3? Where are they going to make it? It is Indonesian. So I was somewhat right. Right? Did 
that right?